Soldier Blade, I am excellent. How are you doing? Ha uh, have you played much of Barkley's uh, or any of Barkley's Shut Up and Jam Gaiden? Oh, look, we can get down there now. Barkley, Proto Neo New York lies just beyond here. When you're ready, head down the ladder. I, okay, that's what I was planning to do. Oh, what the fuck? Guys! Say what you will about this game, this music is fantastic. Sh shit! I was not expecting a quick time event there. Ugh! My head! Everyone alright? Oh, for the love of Glispeth, Charles! You need to be more careful! I think I bruised my knee, but I'm okay, Dad. Oh, well, the ladder's broken now, so we won't be able to go back up. Damn it. Let's just keep going forward. So this is Proto Neo New York. Can, can we take a break, Dad? I'm getting kind of tired. I'll be the first to second that. My dogs are barking, Charles. I can keep going. But I still suggest we stop together, man, and plan some things out. Alright. Oops, I... I wanted you to know I'm sorry. Sorry for getting you involved in this whole mess. This whole goddamn mess. Yeah, it's okay. It's best that we get hoops... We got hoops when we did. There's no telling what would've, could've happened to him at the hands of Inspector Jordan. And as much as I hate to say this, he's safer with us, despite the situation we're in. It's just... This is all so bonkers. It's all so go goddamn bonkers. All this, we're running around the post-cyberpocalypse looking for clues about who or what Blood Moses is and who did the chaos dunk and all this shit about the ultimate b-ball. It's just bonkers. As bonkers as it may be, Charles, the world hangs on a fringe and we're the only ones capable of saving it. You're right, Cyberdwarf. I know you are. I just wish shit didn't have to be this way. I wish it could just go back to when B-Ball was B-Ball with no shit attached and we didn't have to whisper every time we wanted to talk about Nike. It's like, the whole world's fu just fucked. Well, maybe we can change that. Oops, Dad, I mean to ask you. What's the cyberpocalypse? Well, Oops, I don't really know how to explain it to you. I'm not really a religious. 2,000 years ago, a Jickleberg Jin Freedom Fighter was crucified by the British Empire and in an event that is now known as the Boston Massacre. His name was Clispeth Ryuji Atuk. You mean... THE Clispeth? They are one and the same, Hoops. It's a shocking for many to give context to Clispeth's historic relevance, but he was indeed real. He was the leader of an army that was fighting for the Freedom Jickleberg from the British Empire. The backlash of the Boston Massacre was tremendous. I was gathered underneath the banners of Clispeth remaining Empire disciples to fight the British Empire. They fought. They fought for the duration of 666 years, until both sides were destroyed and the whole world obliterated. This was the Cyberpocalypse, and we are living in its consequences. The Clispus I learned about in church was... <laughs> the hell was that? That laughter! It's coming from over there! Quickly! Run into the house! Who's there? Do it, or he'll get you, quickly! I don't know what the hell's going on, but we'd better do it. The hell is going on? What was that laughter? Who are you? Shh, quiet! He will hear us! H who The ghost dad. Just tell me what the hell is going on here. Keep it down, he's still here. Can't you hear him? <laughs> Shit. Oh, I, I think I think he's gone now. That was close. Charles, I haven't seen you in a long time. What? I haven't seen you in my life. You don't recognize my sensual curves and delicate frame. Charles Barkley? I was the one to talk of the, uh, I was once the talk of the WNBA. Oh, but I suppose that the loose b-ball energies have ravaged my body and time has ravaged your memory. Ju Juana? Juana Man? It can't be you. You were one of the first killed in the purge. What happened to you? 
That's what the TV said. I paid off those lousy reporters with that money I had left in, went into hiding down here in Proto Neo, New York. What I didn't know was that the B-ball energy levels down here were so high that all who were exposed became B-ball mutants. Juana, I had no idea. Nobody did, not at first. But that's not even the worst of it. The ghost dad. I don't know who he is or where he came from, Charles, but he's terrible. He haunts the streets of Proto Neo, New York, looking for victims for his sadistic whims. We were already miserable, but before the ghost dad came, we could at least be miserable in peace. I'm sorry, Juana man, but we're only here because we're on our way to the old Spalding building. We're not here to stay. <laughs> the old Spalding building? One of a little of your plas glories, huh? That's a shame, Barkley. A shame? Why? Because the old Spalding building is cut off by, by the fog. Don't even bother trying to stumble through that shit. You'll just get lost and wind up back here. Trust me, we've tried to reach it and... We lost a few men. It's because of the ghost dad, Charles. He's causing the mist. I'm sure if you destroy him, you can clear it out. Your only real option is to go into town and accept the hunter quest on the bulletin board to defeat the ghost dad and clear out the fog. Bulletin board? Hunter quest? What's all this? Ask Ramirez. He's standing next to the hunter quest bulletin board. He's an expert. He can get you started out there as a monster hunter. It looks like we've got no other choice. We'll accept the hunt quest and kill the ghost dad. Thank you, Charles. I mean it. Thank you. Monster Hunter! Don't think I'm doing it out of kindness in my heart, Juana. Anyway. It's your blade. You haven't played this? How was your night out, though? Did you get lots of drink or eat? I kind of want to go get a burrito tomorrow. I was going to go today, but it was snowing, so I just slept in. <coughs> Get away from me. Suit yourself, chump. See, wait. Do I know you? Barkley? Wildman. You're as pale as a ghost now. I'm ashamed to say we used to jam together. <coughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you forgot the meaning of that word. Why you gotta say shit like that, man? What changed since la la we last met that would make you think something like that? Get off your cliss, with damn high horse, Barkley. You killed the only other thing that ever meant a damn to me. <coughs> you cursed us all, Barkley. You cursed us all. Charles, there are more pressing issues to address right now, I suggest. No, Beltheus. I gotta sort this out. Look, I know I messed up. I can't change that. But I'll be damned if anyone tries to stop me from making things better. You make me sick. In fact, you're the very reason I was infected with the negative B-ball energies. Now this place is a wasteland. <coughs> Beeble was always there for you when you needed it most. Where were you when Beeble needed you most? <coughs> Running like a coward, you pawned scum. You don't know what it's like. You'll never know what it's like. You're right, I won't. I'd never become the monster you are. I, I don't know what to tell you. Hardly surprising. <coughs> You never even had the guts to say you were sorry. <laughs> I can't change the past. I I know that. There's not a goddamn thing day that goes through my head where I don't think about everything being different. You know what? What does living in the past do? Not a whole lot. All I have to look forward to is the future, no matter how bleak it is. I'm sorry, Wildman. I missed jamming till the sun went down. I miss making a huge slam in front of thousands of screaming fans. People may be the band now, but I'm gonna change that. Mark my words, things are only gonna get better from here on in. Maybe you have to changed. Only time will tell. And attempting to fake cough, I gave myself the hiccups. All right. Give me a quick moment, I gotta go grab a drink.
Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Tell me your, uh, t tell me ba any basketball related stories you, you might have. I'll get started. When I was in eighth grade, we had this kid who was made fun of by a lot of people, but he was also a real jerk to everybody anyway. So, ugh, heck, heck up. That guy has a basketball tumor on his head and shoulder. You don't have to stare at me, I know I'm a freak. It wasn't always like this. I used to be a pretty handsome guy, kind of like yourself. That changes once you start living down here. Once you start sucking in those b-ball energies. It's everywhere. It's in the air, it's in the ground, it's in the food, it's in the walls. You can't avoid it no matter what you do. It'll get you as long as you're down here, and when it does, you start to change. <laughs> maybe your hair will get thin and wiry like a net, or maybe you'll grow a b-ball tumor, or maybe your hands will turn into whistles. It's different for everyone, but one thing... <laughs> one thing's for sure. As long as you're down here, it'll get you. Okay, hang on. Hey, Toonlog. Sorry, guys, I'm suffering from uh, hiccups right now. Anyway, so when I uh, was in eighth grade, this kid was a real asshole, and he was pretending like he was better than everybody at basketball, but he wasn't. So he was dribbling the ball, and um, he dribbled it right onto my foot, but it bounced up fast. God damn it. Shuba, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I attempted to hold the breath. It's not helping. Okay, let's see if that helped. Anyway, so he's dribbling the basketball and he's like trying to act like he's cool and like uh, showboating and stuff and the ball hits my foot, flies up, nails him right under the chin and into his nose, right? Like just up where the chin and nose are. Just smash smack! And then it goes back down into my other foot and flies off into the distance into the net. It, it, was, it was glorious to watch. Oh, save point. Hang on, let's talk to this guy first. Though. This guy's got tumors as well. Oh, wait, no, he's got basketballs for arms and legs. His name is Wendy. None of us chose to come down here. We're all victims of circumstance. Some of us might have been running from the law. Others might because they just didn't fit up there. It doesn't matter why we're here. It, what matters is that we're outcasts and none of us can ever go back up. They say there's a doctor up there who can help people to look however they want, but could he help a person like me? My hands, my feet, they're basketballs. We came down here because of shame. If we went back up, it'd only be worse. All right, guys, these are the save points in the game. Check this out. The VidCon Manifesto by Pump. One, all VidCons must be released alongside a minimum of four limited edition wall scrolls. The wall scrolls will feature characters of the char uh, pictures of the characters from the VidCon in the anime style. The only exceptions to this rule are sports games, which will not be released with any wall scrolls, as there is enough sports memorabilia to last its ignorant fans for a lifetime. 2. Only one VidCon per sport can be released a year. For example, there can only be one basketball VidCon, one football VidCon, one baseball VidCon, etc. 3. All VidCons with English voice acting must first 
but must make Japanese voice acting optional. Furthermore, they must allow for subtitles. Subs, not dubs. 4. All RPGs must strictly adhere to the more the Mo aesthetic. This may anger some Western RPG VidConners, but I barely consider them VidConners at all. All VidConners must have a minimum of three beautifully crafted anime cutscenes. All VidCuts must be released alongside its full feature-length soundtrack. In order to avoid confusion, the game MUST be called Game Name OST for example, Arton Lico Melody of Alemia OST. It may not have any subtitles, for example, Arton Lico Melody of Alemia Rhapsody of Music Soundtrack. This rule does not apply to arranged soundtracks. Okay. Uh, I actually want to play Arton Lico, interestingly enough. I have uh, a ROM for it. This isn't a hotel or anything, but you can stay as long as you pay. Okay, cool. Full health. Anyway, Juba, Sab, Trife, welcome everybody. Sorry about that. Juba, thank you very much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you get lots of good use out of the slime that has seen some shit. Sab, um, have you met Drablade? Drablade is uh, a longtime viewer. Uh, he's pretty fantastic. And have you guys played or seen Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden? And if not, how interested are you in slams and or jams? This guy looks like Princess Leia. It's your first time at the Hunter Quest board, kid? Huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Green horns? Well, I'm sure you'll get a whole mess of questions. Just waiting to be answered. That's my job. Ramirez, pleased to meet you. <laughs> I get why he's called Ramirez now. He's got the uh, ram horns. Let's get started on the basics. That's the Hunter Quest bulletin board. It shows all the Hunter Quests that are currently available to you. Hunter Quests are jobs or missions that you can accept that require you to perform a task for someone, usually hunting down a monster. You got that? Yeah. <laughs> You're as dumb as you look, kid. But don't let it get to your head. The bright ones are the ones that always think they know everything and do something stupid. And I don't want to see that happen to you. You can see more information on a specific hunt by selecting it. You can gauge your hunt's difficulty by its monster grade, which can range from E, weak, to S, strong. I'd start with E-rank monsters and work your way up if I were you. Okay. But that's not all. Once you accept the hunt, you still have to go and talk to whoever commissioned it. After that, the hunt begins. It sounds a lot more complicated than it really is, but you should try it out. Who knows, if you're smart and know what you're doing, you may end up a real hunter after all. Alright, so I don't think this is Monster Hunter uh, quest. I think this is a reference to Final Fantasy XII. You're going to come in here and say, this isn't Space Jam. It isn't Space Jam, you are correct. At the end of your secondary school life... Good, you called it B-Bud. You told your bud Aaron that if he made three points, shots... The ball don't lie. Till this day we keep telling him. He's not happy about it. The Ghost Dad. Okay. Ghost Dad. Rank E Monster. Commissioned by Juana Man. Comments. Yakamundo! The Ghost Dad's been making a real mess down here in Proto Neo, New York. Help us get rid of him, and maybe even the fog on the road leading to the old Spalding building will clear up. Monster Quest accepted! The Juana Man. Alright. Uh, Trini, you, got, you should stick around a little while longer just to see this boss. So you accepted uh, the Hunter Quest, Barkley? I thought you would. The Ghost Dad's been terrorizing Proto New York, New York for years now. We've been living in its wake and it's at its mercy for too long. It's time something was done about it. Problem is, we're just not cut out for fighting here, so that's why we hired. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! It sounds like he's back. That's your cue, Barkley. Oh, and careful out there. For me, Juana, you know my heart belongs to Maureen, even in death. I, I know. She was a lucky woman, Charles. G good luck out there. I know you can do it. I'll do what I can, Joanna. Heh. <laughs> so you're the ghost dad, huh? You don't look so goddamn tough to me. I've got all day to see the best you've got. Chump. Here we go, boss fight. Alright, there you go, you can see him now. You can go to bed now. 
Alright, I'm gonna say trick gun assault. Oh shit, that did a ton of damage. Look at his eyes when he gets hit. What are you saying no to? gonna have nightmares. <laughs> Time for Thunder Zalber! God damn, that does a lot of damage. Because <laughs> it's Bill Cosby. <laughs> it's the Ghost Dad, come on! <laughs> Fucking eyes pop out. Just throw, like, everything on me? Glaucoma Prayer. Oh, he just raises attack power. What a dick. Ghost has got a lot of HP. I don't have enough BP to use anything. I can use Flame Jabber. Let's do that. Lower his attack power. Oops. Could have charged that a little bit more. Oh, I'll care about that. That's fine. Okay, I don't know why it's not doing the uh, finishing room. It just sometimes just doesn't do it. Shit. Overcharged it. Got one more double team left in me. Take that. There's something weird about tossing balls at Bill Cosby's face. What? How'd that miss? Give me glaucoma again? You're a dick. I used that on the wrong person. Shit. Usually he is the one, correct. Oh, he's got glaucoma, that's why. Gotcha, Ghost Dad! 4,000 XP, 499 Neo Shekels. Barkley goes up to level 7. Baelthus is level 7. Cyberdorf is level 7. And Hoops is level 7. Is that the Star Tropics ghost dying thing? A lot of ghosts. That was scary. I'm terrified now. The fog. Ghost Dad, I may never know how you were in life, but you may f may you find peace you sought in death. He's gone, you want a man? The ghost dad is gone. 
And so is the fog, Barkley. How do you know? You haven't left your house yet. Charles, I want to thank you for... Joanna, you know my heart still belongs to Maureen. But we're both so lonely, you and I. I could make you happy again, Charles. We could both be happy. I'm sorry, Joanna, but I can't be happy knowing that somewhere out there, someone with the will and ability to perform another chaos dunk is alive. I can't sit still while people like Blood Moses plot to molest the world. But, but why, Charles? After all the world's done to you, what's the world done to me that I haven't deserved, Joanna? I took B-Ball for granted, and when it was taken from us, from me, I realized how important it really was. That's why I'm doing this, Joanna. I'm not doing this for me. I'm not doing this for you or Maureen or the world. I'm doing this for Hoops. I'm doing it so he can grow up in the world that I grew up in. A world where layups got you applause, not arrested. I'm doing this so he can know the same sport I did. Charles. I'm sorry, Joanna. Goodbye. Goodbye, Charles. The fog's clear now. All we need to do is go to the Spalding building. I think we can get there if we keep heading west through town. Hey, they do kind of have faces. Good old Super Nintendo era. Barkley! Barkley, can you hear me? Greetings from beyond the grave! It is I, the ghost dad. You have... I, I can't do a good voice, so I'm just making one up here. I have to come haunt you! But also to help you! It is true that you haunted Puerto Neo, New York, but I did it with good intentions. But this is not why I am here! I wanted to thank you for freeing me from my ghastly chains of bondage, for saving me from the hex that I unwillingly placed on myself years ago! I am finally free to return to the ghost domain that haunts you, and I am no longer cursed by this dastardly hex! I want to show my appreciation by giving you a power that very few ghosts attain, let alone mortals! It is the precious ghost muscle, a skill that fortifies your body with the incredible power of ghosts. I hope you use it as wisely as I did. Barkley learns ghost muscle. Farewell, Barkley. May my powers aid you on your journey. He was Irish? I, I didn't realize that was an Irish accent. That dream, it felt so real, but it couldn't be. Still, I feel the power of ghosts coursing through my veins. Perhaps the ghost dad wasn't such a bad guy after all. I don't have time to make up voices for these people, you guys. I just kind of do it on the fly. I can't please everyone. Spalding isn't this way. It's to the left. We need to go there so we can get the prototype B-ball. Anyway, Trini, go to sleep. Why is there a skeleton there? Need caffeine. Guns, guns, guns! Welcome to Hundley's Casino. Huh? Casino? Why don't you try your luck on one of the games? I don't see any games. Our most popular game is called Bones. Care to play? Too scared to lose? I don't blame you. I wouldn't bet against me either if I were you. Psst, I hear a rumor that it, you're going to the old Spalding Village. Is that true? What's it to you, chump? Guns. Let me elaborate. I'm what you call a guns braster, a collector and aficionado of guns. In fact, he goes so far to say that all I care about is guns. Get to the point. Ah, but what is the point? Ah. Good night, Trini. Ah, but that is the point. But enough of my enlightened music. I'm sure you want to know what my extreme love of guns has to do with you. You see, it has come to my attention that a particular item of note to gun enthusiasts such as myself is f currently inside the old Spalding building. It's named The Final Gun. Some say it was a prototype that Spalding was building before it disappeared to the perch. Others say it was made by the devil himself. <laughs> I don't care. I only care about guns. You want us to get this gun for you, huh? What's in it for us? The knowledge that you have aided the premier gun dispatcher should be enough to slake your primitive desire for a reward. Fuck you, buddy. No deal. Okay, okay. I'll give you something nice. Something rare and valuable, okay? That's more like it. We'll get you this final gun or whatever. Anything for guns. The music in this game is really good. Welcome to Guns, 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 your one-stop shopping emporium for all things guns related. Okay. So I can get the Zalbertech Z, which is better. Mithril Braster, which is again better. The Battlestech Gun. 
All right, we'll get this. I just want to get him this one. 343, but whatever. Ultimate wristband. Oh man, lowers your guard, but raises your attack bar by 12. It's worth it. You can never have enough guns. All right, let's go save our game. We haven't done that since we beat. Uh... So uh, now that there's more people in chat, Sab, Chuba, uh, Drablade, Dudes Eleven, tell me any stories you have related to B-Ball, and please refer to it as B-Ball in your stories.